I know that um, you cast your own mother to play her mother. Uh, you even shot in your old house, in, your, in, the, in the home actually you grew up in. So I imagine it must have been um, pretty intense for a first feature film um, to have all this personal autobiographical stuff. Sure. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, the reason that I wanted to make this film and become a filmmaker in the first place was that when I was a teenage girl, there weren't that many films, especially in American independent cinema, that I felt that I could relate to. And even now, I think there are more, um, but it's still, it's like Twilight and Hunger Games and it's these big Hollywood movies. And I wanted to tell um, a, just a small personal story about an artistic, creative, imaginative girl. Mm -hmm. And so while I was writing the screenplay, I just naturally wrote about things that were from my life, specifically the mother. So I grew up um, in a bit of an unusual situation in that my mother has multiple sclerosis and she's been in a wheelchair since I was a baby. And so I grew up as her caretaker and I wrote that into the screenplay and then ended up um, asking my mother if she would be in the film in, in a small role. And um, the other thing that I did is, in casting the role, I spent a lot of time meeting with hundreds of teenage girls. It was important to me to cast an actual teenage girl to play a teenage girl. And I met the actress Natalia Dyer. Um, she was in high school in, in a rural, small area in, in Tennessee. And we just hit it off and she was wonderful. And so we collaborated a lot on the character as well. So the film is really a combination of my life and her life and some things completely fantastical, obviously. <laughs>